All right, so let's get started recording your first video. And so it's just as easy as coming up here in your Google Chrome browser and clicking on the Screencastify Chrome extension button. And so once that pops open, you can see that we've got multiple options here. You can either decide to record with your, just record the browser tab that you have open. So just this particular tab in the Google Chrome browser. But you can also record everything that's going on in your screen using the desktop button. So that's just recording the entire screen no matter what you have open. But then what's also really cool is that you can just record your webcam. Like forget the screen, you just wanna record a, you know, just a recording through the camera. Like through this, this webcam that I'm using right here, it would only just record that. So you've got that option. And I think that's one of the coolest options that this, this whole thing has is that, that we, can, we can kind of pick and choose between all of these. So let's say we want to only record this browser tab. There are some options that we can select under that too. Like you can decide whether or not you turn your microphone on. And if you have multiple microphones attached to your device, you can decide which one you want to use. Like for instance, for me, I like to use this microphone. This is my, my USB microphone that has a little bit better sound. So I could, I could select that one instead. And then you can also embed a webcam if you want to, kind of like the little webcam where I'm down here in the corner. You can add one of those to yours as well. And then of course there are more options too, like adding a countdown timer. So it'll count down three, two, one before you actually record and you can change that to five seconds or 10 seconds. You can also show the drawing tools if you wanna annotate on top of your video, but then you can also turn on the tab audio. And that's if, you know, if there was a little bit of audio, if there were some sound effects or something coming through the web page, it would record those also. And then after you've got all of that configured just the way that you want, you can hit the record button and you're ready to go.